Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to build a Meko chart in ThinkSell. Now a Meko chart is a two-dimensional stack chart that shows information both in terms of the height of the chart and the width of the chart. It looks something like this. And today we're going to design that exact chart. So the first thing I'll show you is how to insert a Meko chart using ThinkSell and fill it with data. The second thing is how to format your labels to make sure that your readers understand exactly what you're trying to say. And thirdly, how to highlight different areas in your Meko chart so your readers' eyes are drawn to the right things, and much more. So if that sounds good, let's jump into it. So to insert the chart, click on Insert, Elements, and in this case we'll drop in Meko Column Percent Axis. And now it's time to drop some data in. To do that, double click on the chart. And I have some pre-prepared data, so I'll just drop that in by pressing Control V. And here's the data. Now the first thing you'll notice is that it's quite messy. There's a lot going on in the chart. So what I always do first when I drop in a Meko chart is I remove the x-axis. So I'll highlight all of these percentages, then I'll hit delete. The second thing I do is I try and update the category labels so they don't overlap. So we can see here that these category labels don't sit nicely under the columns. So there's a couple of things we can try. First is we can make them vertical. So clicking here. However, that's a little bit messy and it takes up a lot of space. So there's another thing that we can try. So I'm going to go into the chart by double clicking and then double clicking into the cell. So what you'll notice is developed Asia sits on one line. So I'm going to remove the space, hold control and press enter. Now it sits across two lines. I'll do that for the other labels too. And I might also shorten the label while I'm at it. Perfect. And you can see now that the labels span across two lines. Finally, the last thing I like to do is remove any labels in the chart that don't sit nicely in the segments. So for example, this 1% doesn't sit nicely, so I'm going to delete it. Now I only do that if those data points aren't particularly relevant for the slide. If they are, we need to find a way to include them. Okay, it's much neater now. And you'll see how useful this is for understanding the composition of an industry or a market. So for example, we can see there's significant revenue in business banking in China, and also for example, in North American retail banking. However, it's a little bit misleading. This 47% kind of implies that business banking in China is larger than this 37%, which is retail banking in North America. We need to remember that the percentages sum to 100 within the column. So when we compare across columns, we can't use the percentages. Instead, we need to use absolute numbers. We'll click on one of the labels. Now I'll hit Control A and Control A again, which has highlighted all of the labels. And I'll go down here and change percentage to absolute. And you can see, even though business banking in China was a larger percentage, it's actually a smaller absolute number compared to North American retail banking. So this chart is looking good now. The one additional thing you might want to do is highlight the segments of interest. Hold control and click whichever segments are useful to you and change the border color. I'll change it to red and generally change the thickness to something quite thick and easy to see, three points. And now you can see I've quickly highlighted North American retail banking and Chinese business banking. And to finish off the slide, I'll update the lead in. So that's it. That's how you build Meko charts in ThinkSell. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down in the comment box below. Hope that was useful.